European market set to close in just a few minutes. Sima Modi joins us now with today's action. Sima. Hey, John Ford. Here's a look at how European stocks are closing out. A mixed session for the major averages. The German DAX underperforming the major averages. You can see down just about a third of 1%. The auto parts maker Scheffler said that it would cut 900 jobs and reduce its product range following its weak results last year. And that stock is down around 7.5%. But on the flip side, tech is among the best performing groups in Europe following an upbeat outlook from UK chipmaker Dialog Semiconductor. That stock up about 2%. There's still these economic warning signs out of Europe that continue to escalate the OECD forecasting. Italy will see a 0.2% contraction in 2019, which would be the country's worst yearly performance since 2013. And that news sending Italy's 10-year yield to its lowest level in over a month. Now, it comes ahead of tomorrow's ECB policy meeting where rates are expected to be kept on hold. The question is whether the council will make changes to the forward guidance and mention the use of TLTROs. It's a lending mechanism for the nation's banks. Investors will also want to get a sense of whether uh, who will run to replace ECB President Mario Draghi. Remember, his term is coming up at the end of October. Finally, a major geopolitical development this time in Italy, reportedly set to become the first major European country to formally endorse China's One Belt, Run Road initiative, a plan to build out infrastructure across more than 80 countries, encompassing one-third of the world's trade. It is an initiative that has received strong criticism from the U.S. administration. It also comes at a time of increased scrutiny around China's investments, with Germany and France recently worrying that the country could seek to divide the Eurozone. This is data we pulled from the World Bank, which kind of gives you a blueprint of China's One Belt, Run Road initiative, which kicked off about five years ago. You can see, though, it is certainly making headway here and getting Italy, a G7 country, Carl, on board would significantly help it expand its reach into Europe.